One of the most frightening sights a line worker will ever see is a crew member who's received a severe electrical shock. His breathing and possibly even his heart may have stopped. To rescue a shock victim successfully, you've got to work fast, but carefully. If you're not sure what you're doing, you could hurt the victim even worse than he is already. On the other hand, if you know the proper rescue procedures, you'll be able to get the victim down off the pole quickly and safely. So you'll know what to do in this situation, we're going to show you a couple of simulated rescues, but the rescue procedures you'll see are real. We won't go into CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, in this lesson, although CPR is an important part of many pole top rescues. It requires extensive training by certified instructors and hours of supervised practice. Let's begin the rescue demonstration with a discussion of the three-half hitch knot. A three-half hitch knot is used to quickly tie a rope around the victim so he can be safely lowered to the ground. The lineman normally uses a hand line to lower the victim to the ground. The hand line could be the victim's if it's on the pole or one the lineman is brought with him. The first step in tying the three-half hitch knot is to pass the line under the victim's arms and across his back, tying the knot to the chest. The knot consists of three individual half-hitch knots tied in front of the victim's chest. He centers the knot to make sure the victim will hang evenly as he is lowered. The three-half-hitch knot is designed to be a quick and efficient way to prepare the victim for lowering while supporting his weight and at the same time hold him upright so he won't tip over. Next, we're going to watch a demonstration of a lineman using a rescue hitch with a three-half hitch knot to rescue a man who may have received a severe electric shock while working on a pole. Before we see the rescue, though, I want to make an important point. Because the victim has been working on energized equipment, the lineman making the rescue must wear rubber gloves. He may have to move the victim off the energized equipment if he's still in contact with it. Even if the victim isn't on any energized equipment, it's still important for the lineman to wear rubber gloves. Both he and the victim could come in contact with energized equipment during the rescue. Thank you. 